Remember hamburger helper or maybe you still eat it. I know I do. It is making a comeback for many Americans and it's not just for the memories. Rising prices at the grocery store is forcing Americans to find more budget friendly staples and hamburger helpers right up there. Uh, joining us now to explain what this trend tells us about the economy and also the current uh, spending habits is Virginia Tech economist Jadrian Wooten. Uh, thank you so much for joining us this afternoon. Uh, thank you so much for having me. Of course. So obviously grocery prices remain high and it's another layer of financial strain for many families as we recover from the government shutdown. How might it be influencing the kinds of choices that we're seeing people um, go for at the grocery store? Yeah, so I think we, we lived through high grocery inflation over the past couple of years and that number, it did come way down at the start of the year. It was about 1%. Uh, but it's still up around pretty close to the overall inflation level. It's about three, um, close to 3% just for grocery inflation. And then we think about restaurants, those are almost 4%. Uh, those prices are hitting Americans really hard, and it has been for multiple years. And so one of the things we're starting to see is that consumers are basically switching over to what we would normally consider cheaper products, boxed food, canned meat. Uh, and so sort of the latest news about Hamburger Helper is really kind of showing us that that's actually what people have been doing. Right. And Hamburger Helper, of course, just one example of a stretch meal that can, you know, feed a big family for less. Do you think that this is a short term response to high prices or part of a longer lasting shift in consumer behavior? What do you think? That's really tough. So, I, you know, I think this we're seeing a short run version of it. I don't know that this is necessarily something that we'll see over a long period of time. Uh, however, this short run time might be around for a while. Mm -hmm. uh, so we're seeing some indicators that uh, possibly we're in store for some higher grocery prices, at least for a little bit longer. So one of the things I said earlier is we started at about 1%, but grocery inflation has slowly ticked up month after month. And our most recent data puts us pretty close to 3%. That's not trending in the direction we would normally like to see. We would normally like to see lower grocery prices. This is telling us that grocery prices are starting to creep back up. Maybe not as high as two years ago, but it's starting to move in the wrong direction. Uh, on top of that, uh, one of the biggest sort of changes has been ground beef. Ground chuck is uh, about 50% more expensive than a couple of years ago. Uh, we're looking at something that is hitting a lot of Americans. You think sort of cheap protein, we usually go to ground beef, uh, but that's getting more expensive too. Uh, so I think this is a short run situation, but this short run might be a pretty long short run. So to your point, is it about people spending less these days or just spending their money and what they have differently? What do current spending habits tell us about the uh, economic confidence right now? It's definitely spending money differently. We're, we're definitely not spending less. Mm -hmm. uh, everything is getting more expensive and everything has been expensive for the past couple of years. Uh, and so really what we're seeing is people making substitutions. So if you have a certain budget to go to the grocery store, that budget doesn't stretch the way it used to. Uh, and so what we're trying to do is basically find things that we can replace in our basket. We can find something that'll stretch the meal out a little bit longer. And that's where the hamburger helper part is really interesting because it is this sort of classic meal that came out of the 1970s when inflation was really high then too. It was a way to help stretch meals out and have them last a little bit longer. So it's definitely a substitution happening. We're, we're not spending less, unfortunately. Yeah, and you mentioned 1970s. That's decades ago. Still a classic till, uh, yeah. you know, in our uh, childhood memory. Um, have you noticed an uptick in sales of those, you know, off brands like the generic products? Um, or how are companies reacting or responding to the consumers needing more of those affordable meal solutions? Yeah, so we're definitely seeing stores sort of switch over to the store brands and yeah. kind of emphasize those a little bit more sort of on the marketing side of things, putting those on specials, advertising those. Uh, but there's actually a second thing that maybe people haven't noticed over the past couple of years, and that is that you're seeing fewer and fewer varieties of certain products at the store. Mm -hmm. uh, and so a portion of that move is to basically cut down the SKUs, the product lines, so that companies can focus on basically making their core staple a little bit cheaper or when they raise prices, they don't raise it by as much. So instead of sort of getting the fun and funky different flavors of everything, you're really gonna get sort of the classic uh, staples that you're used to seeing. And that's just one way that companies can sort of change their product line to make it a little bit easier when they do have to raise prices. Right, that makes sense. Uh, meanwhile, I will be, I know personally, I will be continuing to coupon clip and save where I can. Uh, Virginia Tech economist, Jadrian Wooten, thank you so much for your insight and time. Thank you so much.